You broke into a room? Is that legal? You don't need a search warrant to go into a hotel room if it's after checkout. Oh. Is that true? I don't know. What you got? Red baseball cap. Ta da. Green mud. All right, let's arrest her. No, no, no. Natalie. Natalie. We can't get her on this. Okay, we have to do something. They're honeymooning at Mexico. They're going to leave any minute. If Randy can ID her as Darlene Coolidge, then we've got her. I'm going to go see if I can wake him up. Keep her here. Don't let her leave. Now. Already? Yeah. Something. Teresa wants to catch an earlier flight. When she makes up her mind about something, that's it. The woman's a force of nature. Don't go. Oh. Um, I, I need to talk to you. Oh, you don't need me to have fun. You never did. Hi. I've got to take him. I've got to take him. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck. We're going to. Teresa. Wanted to say a few words. I, well, the truth is I don't really know either of you very well, but I do know a couple of things about marriage. My wife Trudy used to say that marriage is 90% love and 10% forgiveness. She was married to me, so she was sort of an expert on forgiveness. <laughs> That's a true story. Quick, get it! Relax. I get it. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. Go. Okay. Go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Anyway, okay. I'd like to thank okay. all of you for coming, and I think I. Speak on, on behalf of Bobby and Peggy. No, I, no, actually, you're not. You. And um, Jonathan and and, and Teresa, I I, uh, I I know you want to take a, a a minute now and just say thank you to our wonderful waiters and waitresses. Yes, absolutely. You know who's here, though, is uh, Julie Teeger. Ju Come up here, Julie. Come on up here, please. Julie, you know, is, uh, of course, Jonathan's niece. Come, come, come on. Come. She has uh, had to uh, go? memorize a poem go? okay. for, for school, and she would like to recite it for you now in honor of Jonathan and Teresa, Julie Teeger. Come on, Julie. Come on, girl. Okay, bye. Father William by Lewis Carroll. Your old father, William, the young man said, and your hair has become very white. Sorry. And yet you incessantly stand on your head. Do you think at your age this is right? Do you think at your age this is right? That always gets me. Okay. 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 When I was just a lad. Well, not a lad. You know, more of a young fella. You know, adolescent. Teenager, really. Hey, Darlene. Long time no see. Who's her? Darlene Coolidge. We lost track of you back in Seattle in 2001. But by then, her name was Phyllis Gaffney. And she was already on husband number three. 
He lasted five and a half weeks. You we really must have loved him. What is he talking about? What are you doing? Okay, oh, okay don't do anything stupid. I told you we should have eloped. Hey! Dad! You have a private jet. It's a company jet. I want it fueled and ready to go in 20 minutes. from our family. We have enough problems. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.